Robert Rogers of Liberty, Missouri, stopped by the Trinity Church of Brookfield to share his testimony. With him was a bag of pictures, a heart filled with memories, and a life-changing story. And I started off studying music as a youngster, piano, and went on to study engineering in college. And as part of my college curriculum, I met a girl from Kansas in Boston, of all places. Her name's Melissa. And uh, we met at a sidewalk cafe where I was playing piano on evenings and weekends. And like every other happily ever after, Robert and Melissa got married and started a family. But with miscarriages and special needs children, Robert says he and Melissa grew closer to God. I sort of threw our hands up in the air and said, God, what do you want us to do? We want a big family, but each one is very difficult to, to bring into this world, it seems. On Labor Day weekend in 2003, after a wedding getaway, Robert's faith was challenged beyond measure. And on the way home in the torrential deluge of rain, we splashed into the splash flood that had formed across the Kansas Turnpike. And it was in the darkness. We couldn't even see it coming. And within a matter of minutes, it overtook our van. It filled it up, and it ultimately washed us off the freeway and into this deluge, into the deep, literally. Melissa, McKenna, Zachary, Nicholas, and Alina were gone. And there we were, tumbling and drowning and no control, no, you couldn't see anything, you just had, it was just surreal. But instead of questioning his life, Robert used his story to change the lives of other people. One by one, people just started asking me to, to come to their church or their Saturday morning pancake breakfast, their school, their community event, and just share, Robert, how can you still have faith? <laughs> how can you still trust in a God that would allow this to happen? And so I just started telling my story. Today, Robert speaks at churches across the country hoping to change lives. He remarried and has four children with his second wife. In Brookville, Destiny McKeever, KTVO News.